Mornings are hard enough already. I keep it simple by having the same breakfast every day. And according to some nutritionists, this is the healthiest breakfast ever discovered. I'll explain why in a minute, but first, breakfast. I start with artisanal French bread. Since I live in France, we just call it bread. I store it in the freezer so it's really hard to cut and I have to kind of break it. 30 seconds in the microwave and I can actually slice it and stuff it into my odd French toaster. While that's toasting, I plunk frozen fruit into my smoothie cup. These are plums from a tree in my yard. When the toast pops, it's time for the secret ingredient, butter. Salted butter is the secret ingredient. The stuff we get over here is like Irish butter, but it's actually French. So again, we just call it butter. Then I add a handful of nuts to my plate. To finish preparing my perfect breakfast, I just mix my smoothie until it's, well, smooth, and I'm ready to eat. I like to look out the window when I have my breakfast. Maybe I'll see a fox. So I have this breakfast every day. I like it, makes me feel good. But is it nutritious? We could ask professional nutritionists, but to be honest, I don't think they know what they're talking about most of the time. Nutritionists and the advertisers that pay them have said some phenomenally stupid things about food. Real quick, here's my top three. Number one, margarine is better than butter. While butter contains natural animal fats, not unlike those that omnivorous mammals have been eating and digesting since the dawn of time, margarine is full of trans fats, which are industrially manufactured and considered to be the most dangerous kind of fats. They also basically don't occur naturally. The amazing thing is that this is why they were actually considered healthier in the beginning, because they were made by science. The second one uses the same logic, but is even more ridiculous. In the 1960s and 70s, baby formula was marketed as healthier than breast milk, and breastfeeding hit an all-time low in America of only 25 to 30 percent of all mothers. They actually called it formula to make it sound more scientific, because back then we were apparently convinced that human scientists were more intelligent than nature and millions of years of evolution. Since then, the World Health Organization has proposed an international ban on the marketing and advertising of baby formula, and it continues to recommend breastfeeding exclusively. Now, there are a lot of reasons that families choose formula, but a garbage nutritionist saying that it's better than breast milk shouldn't be one of them. And that brings me to my all-time favorite nutrition myth. Please hit that like button if you like steak, because I'm sure you've been told that red meat is bad for you. And maybe it is. But meanwhile, the Maasai tribes of Kenya and Tanzania consume a diet almost exclusively of beef and dairy products. And yet they do not show higher incidences of cardiovascular or heart disease. So I guess that means that over hundreds of thousands of years, our bodies evolved teeth to be able to eat meat but not a heart and plumbing and all the rest of the things that would actually be needed to be able to digest it. Maybe what humans haven't evolved enough to digest are all of the hormones and antibiotics that are used in modern industrial meat production. I actually have no idea, I'm not a scientist, but that's actually kind of the point. I don't think they do either. When ancient humans were foraging for breakfast on the savanna, it used to be that something was either food or it was poison. If you could eat it, it was food. And food was considered good because if you didn't get enough of it, well, you would die. But now for some reason, much of what we're sold as food is actually loaded with lab-tested carcinogenic poisons, endocrine and fertility disruptors, and all kinds of nasty garbage that we were never meant to eat. So until food scientists stop making our food more poisonous instead of less, I'm gonna pretty much ignore what they have to say about nutrition and just stick to my simple breakfast of minimally processed real food. As I was saying that last part, it dawned on me that it all sounds a little bit science denier -y. 
But for me, it's more just a case of if it ain't broke, don't make food in a lab and then try and tell me that it's better than butter. Anyway, I know that not everybody can do wheat, dairy, and nuts. But this is the right breakfast for me, and I'm sticking with it. I'll put the complete detailed recipe for my perfect breakfast down in the description. And I'd love to hear in the comments about your favorite breakfast or nutrition myths. If for some reason you enjoyed this video, well then you can watch me complain about recycling here, or I can teach you how to cook a steak down here. If you don't already follow my channel, you should click here to subscribe. It's free. And as ever, I'll put a link to my Patreon and other ways to support my channel down in the description. Thanks for stopping by.